Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. This is a DIY channel, but I did not DIY these beams. The Barn Door Store, who obviously do beams, they're right here in our backyard in Scottsdale, Arizona, featured on HGTV, came in, installed these beams. We did them in three rooms that I'm showing you right now. Those, these are the before pictures, obviously. All the details for these box alder beams, dimensions and everything are in the description. They allowed me to follow them around for eight hours. I wanted to focus on how they did the install for these ridge beams and these rafter beams up here. Hope you enjoy. Let's get going. All right, the barn door store showed up at about nine o'clock in the morning. Here's a quick look at the beams. They are not solid wood beams. This is three quarter inch alder wood held together with glue and staples. They do have the appearance of one solid beam throughout. There are a couple, three ridge beams and then some rafter beams as they are called. And I'll show that to you in a second. Now, how to hang them. First thing they do is basically they mark the ceiling on each side of the ceiling. This is the ridge beam install. I'll just kind of show you the detail on this and not all of them. They make three marks, the center, the right, and the left. Then they grab a chalk line. This is the obviously the living area. And they grab a chalk line and run a line between each one of those marks and they mark it. Once that is marked, they come through with a stud finder and basically make a mark where all the studs are. Once that's done, and those are obviously the marks they make, kind of like a framing setup. Once that's all done, they grab one by twos. Of course, a one by two is three quarter inch by one and a half inch strip, and they run it along the inside of those chalk lines. So the, the chalk line is along the outside of that first strip. Once they've got those first strips in place, they temporarily uh, fasten them to the ceiling with 18 gauge, two inch nails, follow that up with three inch screws into those ceiling joists. I didn't catch it, but of course they're measuring from wall to wall. They're getting an exact measurement this time. When they quoted the job, they, of course it's a general measurement. You can see how much excess they build into these beams, really not that much, maybe two feet. Um, once they get that exact measurement, they make a simple straight cut. The ridge beams were the easiest to install. I don't know how much this weighs. Thank God I didn't do this by myself because this took a little bit of work to get it in place. Once it's in place, they take that same 18 gauge, two inch brad nails and they secure this beam to those first strips with those nails. I, I don't know, they probably put in 150, 200 into them. My question was, man, are these things gonna come down? They've actually had to tear one out before and that's exactly what they had to do. They said it took forever, tore up the ceiling, it did not wanna come down. So you can literally, you can, pretty much hang anything you want to from this. And if you do plan on having a light fixture or a ceiling fan set up, you are going to need to probably extend the electrical wire coming out of the ceiling. I'm very comfortable doing this installation. I recommend you contact an electrician to extend the wire coming out of the ceiling, I don't know, eight to 12 inches. So while they did some other setup, I ran out to ACE and set this up. We will be connecting that later. And here's a quick safety tip. Have somebody hold the ladder. This happened in the bedroom. <laughs> Poncho fell off the ladder. Uh, I'm so glad he fell in the best place to fall during this job, right on our bed. Actually, that's the base of our bed, of course. He was key to the rest of our uh, install, which of course were the rafter beams, also the finger beams, they called them. He has this tried and true scribe. These are the vertical cleats on the ridge beam. There's also vertical cleats on the wall. This is all they're gonna attach the rafter beams to. He's got this, jig that he swears by, spent about 30 minutes on it. If you're interested, I can make a video on just this alone. Every cut he made, except one, was almost perfect, and he had to make small adjustments to that. But basically, you put this jig on the ceiling, wall, and beam, you fine tune it, you come out, you just run, you know, run a pencil line along it to make a basically an angled cut around the beam in order to make this work. These cuts were really difficult cuts to make. And, and with this simple jig, uh, he it just didn't take him long. It took about three hours to do these rafter beams. And once he had made the initial cut, he would come back with a grinder and contour along those cuts to make it fit perfectly against the wall or against the beam, depending on which, which way they were gonna go. As you can tell, I'm spending more time on this than I probably should, but I was fascinated. There's the uh, final cut, the angled cut that uh, we ended up with on just one of them. What is surprising was 
the vertical cleats will hold these up. Two inch, 18 gauge nails once again, shot in along the vertical side and they were good to go. On this side, we were close to that one inset in the wall and he just ran nails into the ceiling. There was a, luckily a, uh, a ceiling joist right there. Finally, the grout, uh, match your grout to the color of the beam. We only had to grout, I think about six joints because Poncho did such a great job. And here is the final product. We are so happy and man, what a difference this makes. All right, that was a really quick video on how to professionally install these box beams. I really appreciate the barn door store allowing me to follow them around. All the specifics of this job, as far as dimensions and the stain used is in the description along with their website. Feel free to check them out. I would love for you to subscribe if you wanna see videos on this gallery wall or that over fireplace TV mount uh, behind me. Feel free to subscribe, check out those videos. I would love for you to like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment, especially if you want a video on that jig they use to cut these rafter beams. We'll see you next time on How To Cube.